His Eminence Timothy Cardinal Dolan is no stranger to the Vincentian ethos. His journey to the priesthood took him to Cardinal Clennon College in St. Louis, Missouri, a division of Kenrick Clennon Seminary, which was administered by the Vincentian community for many years. Now, as he administers the Archdiocese of New York in the backyard of St. John's University, he serves as a devoted supporter and partner of its mission. Named Archbishop of New York by Pope Benedict XVI on February 23, 2009, Cardinal Dolan was installed on April 15, 2009. Three years later, Pope Benedict, recognizing his exemplary service, leadership and commitment as a member of the church hierarchy, further honored our honoree by elevating him to the College of Cardinals. A prelate known for his outgoing and energetic style, Cardinal Dolan has deeply understood the needs of his flock, engaging every constituency with a winning smile and a compassionate ear. He is an active voice in defense of poor, refugees and asylum seekers, and is a driving force in cultivating ecumenical and charitable outreach throughout the Archdiocese. Renowned for his abilities both as an academic and as an administrator, Cardinal Dolan has been a staunch defender of the faith, a student, a teacher, and a scholar. He has assumed numerous leadership roles, including Chairman of Catholic Relief Services, President of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops, and Rector of the Pontifical North American College in Rome, Italy. He is one of the most recognizable Catholic leaders in the United States. Today, it is with enormous gratitude for his untiring friendship, steadfast support, and modeling of faith that St. John's University presents the highest honor that it can bestow on a non-alumnus, the gold medal to his eminence, Timothy Cardinal Dolan. Honored guests and graduates, please join me in welcoming our commencement speaker, His Eminence, Timothy Cardinal Dolan. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. What gracious words. Thank you. I'm going to put this on. This is, uh, there. This is your most prestigious award, Father Shanley. The students tell me it's a uh, free parking pass, but I'll take this uh, gold medal. Uh, Bishop Robert Brennan, my brother, such a good shepherd of this Diocese of Brooklyn, Queens, Father Shanley, Mr. Janicek, a good friend of the Archdiocese as well, distinguished board members, beloved Vincentian Fathers, distinguished faculty and administration, Sister and Dr. Pascal, alumni, jubilant parents, families, and most of all, graduating class of 2023, thank you. This is an honor and a joy to be with you. Now, as was mentioned, I, uh, I have a special bond with you, dear graduates, because I too relish the education I received from the Vincentians, the Congregation of the Mission, in my case, eight years of high school and college back home in St. Louis, Missouri. The teaching and the example of charity of the sons of St. Vincent de Paul, boy, they are a most radiant jewel in the crown of Holy Mother Church and of Western civilization. And you and I are both in their debt, graduates. You'll be happy to know I'm not going to speak very long. I'm still exhausted from running that Brooklyn Marathon yesterday. Anyway, now classically, folks, classically, a speaker at graduation is supposed to give you, you rejoicing graduates, words of wisdom. See, I get to do this a lot, so I'm used to that. But strikes me, 
strikes me that most of the time it is I who learn wisdom at each commencement, like this one. It is I who leave inspired. So here's what I want to do briefly. Can I share with you, my beloved graduates, what I am learning from you this beautiful spring morning? You are my professors this morning, okay? For one, you're teaching me the pivotal importance of an education. A number of years ago, you all had to make a decision. Look, should I get a job and start to work? Should I just keep doing what I'm doing? What would be the best thing for me to do now to enhance the quality of my own life and that of other people? You folks chose school, learning, education, college, and that was a very good choice. <clears throat> God's most profound natural gift to us is our mind. St. Thomas Aquinas, a, a member of Father Shanley's Order of Preachers wrote, and graduates in an age that emphasizes earning and getting and action and pleasure and possession, you opted for a value less coveted, but surely more enduring, time out for learning, to care for the intellect, to acquire knowledge, skills, and understanding through reason, study, and discourse, as I note, happens to be one of St. John's educational goals, is a supreme value. Thanks for reminding me of that. Here's the second lesson I'm learning from you graduates. You're telling me today that you cherish community, as Father Shanley mentioned. You chose to learn from and with other people. That's a college community at its best. To trust and absorb not only the facts, but wisdom, the wisdom of distinguished professors to, to sit next to others, to sit next to others who ask questions and suggest answers, classmates who now you savor as friends, to view education not as a gift to be hoarded, but to be yoked to service to others. Community is important to you, class of 2023, and a world tempted to become a bunch of scared, selfish, gated communities thanks you for that insight. Here's number three. You appreciate tradition. Now, it's true, while St. John's University is celebrated for its creativity in its 153 years, it also is part of a sterling tradition of learning, fostered by the Catholic Church, the founder of universities, inspired by the Vincentian legacy. You are true radicals in that you've returned to roots, roots nurtured in the rich soil of tradition, roots that go back to the truth as revealed by God, especially through his son Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. You give tradition a good reputation, and for that I say thanks. Four, you're reminding me today, class of 2023, again as Father Shanley mentioned, life has purpose and meaning the prophetic Russian dissident, Alexander Solzhenitsyn, remember him, wondered from the gulag of Siberia if the premier question we face is, does life have purpose? Is there an origin and a goal? Or is it all arbitrary, random, and pure chance? We know how he replied, and I know how you've replied. You believe life, ha life has a purpose. Almighty God happens to have a plan for you, that we all have an origin and a destiny. God made me to know him, love him, and serve him in this life, and to be happy with him forever in the next. Yep, there's an order, a plan, a purpose, a design, a focus in life. And thanks for reminding me of that. And finally, bottom of the ninth, you're letting us know today that all we get is intended to be given away. 
I watch you in admiration this morning, chafing to get going, to put your learning to good use, to move on, to get to work. Pope St. John Paul II called this the law of the gift. And it goes like this, listen, we are at our best, we are acting most in concert with God's intentions when we give away what's best in ourselves to another in love. Today, you're getting a degree in that law of the gift. Actually, the education in that law of the gift started under tutelage of the most sublime of your professors, <laughs> your moms and dads, your families. Marriage and family is the first school where love and sacrifice and fidelity and selflessness are passed on. In a moment, we here up in the box seats are going to watch you smiling as you receive your diploma. But I usually look out and I spot another group who are just beaming. Their, their eyes are moist, their throat is lumped as I see your folks and your families. And to them this morning I say thanks, congratulations. You've been the great professors to these college graduates, moms and dads and families. Alleluia, thank you. As St. Vincent de Paul wrote, for all that the Lord has done, I say praise. For all that the Lord wills to do, I say please. Way to go, St. John's class of 2023. Thanks for teaching me a lot of valuable lessons.